Hey everyone, want to see something really cool? Just don't tell everybody yet. All right, as promised, I want to show you what I think is the coolest thing that we're working on right now, and that's called semantic masking. It's the ability to divide the photo up into different regions, know what the regions are, and build great looking masks for them automatically. Now what we've done is we've built a tool that makes it very simple to just simply click on the areas of your photo you want to adjust and make them look better. All right, let's say I want to darken the sky. I want to give it a more dramatic, wintry look to it. So I'm just going to mouse over the photo. You see as I mouse over the photo, the different segments, the different regions highlight automatically. All I do is click on it to turn it on. If there's more than one, I just click on them and I can group segments together. So there we go. I've made a selection of just the sky and the mountains in the background. And now I want to make them more dramatic. So I'm just going to right click. I'll go to adjustments. You notice how I have all of my local adjustments and all of my filters from effects and all of the styles and presets that go along with those. So I've created one I like called winter sky. And bam, there you go. It's added that adjustment layer and it's masked it to apply just to the sky area. And now I could make any adjustments to it that I wanted to over here on the right. Maybe I want to take the haze down just a little bit more in this case. There we go. Now I want to take the barns and I want to make them jump out even more. I want them to be sharp and crisp. So I'm just going to grab my super select AI tool. I'm just going to click on the segments that make up the barn. And again, all I do is I right click. I'm going to go to dynamic contrast and I'll pick the texture enhancer. And kapow, you see how I added that dynamic contrast filter and created a great looking mask automatically. I didn't have to use a brush at all. All right. Last, let's take the foreground and the trees. We want to add a little bit of a rich glow, something that's going to make them kind of more subordinate to the rest of the photo. So I'm just going to click on the foreground, I'm going to click on the trees, and then I'll right click, I'll go to my glows, and I'll add a charge more money. And bam, there you go. We did all of this with a single tool without having to change modes or modules or use any brushes or pick any filters. I simply clicked on the area and decided what I wanted to do with it. Let's take a look at the before and the after. There's before and there's after. Just like that. There you go. Something really cool we're working on for the future. We hope you guys are as excited about it as we are.